Okay, so I'm Saren McKenzie and I'm Director of Infrastructure Services at Southern Downs Regional Council. So I joined Council about 18 months ago in April 2019. I joined as Manager of Water and at the time we were looking at running out of water in both Stanthorpe and Warwick. So major towns, Stanthorpe having 5,000 people to service and Warwick having probably about four times more water requirements than Stanthorpe. So we were looking down the barrel of, a, of an ultimate worst case scenario of no water across our region. And I joined Council for that challenge. I really do like a challenge. So we worked through that and the community expectation, of course, the, the media was all about day zero. There's this big day zero. Stanthorpe was the first area that was gonna run out of water. So the focus was on there. And Stanthorpe was an area we knew that we could service. We just had to get the water there, whether it be by truck or train. So community expectation was, you know, you can't let someone run out, run out of water. A town that big, it's the lifeblood of that area. And um, huge agricultural, horticultural and tourism expectations. And, and that's the reliance of that town. So tourism was badly impacted. People thought Stanthorpe had no water. So they weren't visiting. They didn't want to take up the water that was there. They were trying to help out the town, but really the, the community was suffering. There was huge mental health impacts going on. And so council had to do everything we could to make sure that day zero perception, you know, you weren't going to run out of water. The dam was going to run dry, but you were going to have water still. We did a heap of media, um, intense media interest in what this solution was going to be for, for the dam running dry and how we were going to get water there. So new experience for me, I had a lot of media uh, at that time with the local papers, the local news from Toowoomba, um, the, the stations there. Uh, Queensland papers were coming out, the Australian was coming out to, to do interviews, so it was yeah, huge interest. Once we had our solution, we were able to meet the, demonstrate to the community that we're meeting their expectation. There was a period there where we didn't know what the solution was. There was really a bit of a time where everyone just thought it would rain again. The dam wasn't going to run dry, but we weren't going to take that risk, so we knew we had to manage that and, uh, and make sure the community knew that it was, they were in safe hands. Council was here to make sure that nothing bad was going to happen. So we've been carting water for nearly 12 months now. We started in November, so 12 months ago at this time I was a very stressed out person, <laughs> not knowing if we were going to have our infrastructure in place in time and uh, how the dam was going to go. As the dam got lower and lower, we were worried about water quality and you just couldn't have the water quality turning and not being able to treat it at our treatment plant. So 12 months of water carting, just about, and we've been through 80 litres per person per day. Um, we're back up to 120 now. We had bushfires and all of that as well about this time last year. We've had COVID hit and when COVID came we put the water restrictions back up to 120 litres per person per day um, to meet that community expectation to be able to be hygienic and safe and have enough water to use. So the community's been great and they've, they've really still tried to stick to those limits. Um, we're seeing a bit of a change now, seasonal change as we expected that as we come into summer. And I think as COVID's really been top of mind, the water restrictions maybe haven't. So we're, we're pushing back on that now again with the water restrictions. You know, we're still under 120 litres per person per day. We're still carting water, nothing's changed. And we've still got 42 trucks on the road a day. Being in Queensland, being in our area, in the north of our region, where we had a flood event in February. So we're activated under the disaster recovery funding arrangements. We're, we're repairing roads in the northern part and at the same time we're still cutting to Stanthorpe because there is no water in that dam there. So that's the climate we live in in Queensland. You never, one part has been flooded, one part just didn't get the rain, even in our small region. We're working with the state government. The state government has helped us throughout this whole project. So I really must acknowledge the state government and we're working for better planning on how we, how we maintain water supplies throughout the area. It's just something that people didn't see coming, that the dam never ran dry, so it was never gonna happen, but it happened. So that's one of the big lessons from this. Just because it hasn't happened in the past doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Uh, 
Um, other challenges in the role, it's, it's really the infrastructure that we're at. We've got our water and sewage infrastructure is old, it's in the ground, we don't see it, it's been ignored for many years. As with a lot of small councils, that's been an issue, so we face huge cost recovery there, or, or costs to actually get our, our infrastructure up to, up to date and, and replaced. Um, asset management tells us what that cost is, but we just don't have the resources, so huge cost there. And as I mentioned, flooding in part of the region, so we've got a big recovery program going on there as well. So it's always about resources in a, in a small regional council. How do you get enough resources um, financially and also getting the expertise there. The getting engineers into regional areas is a big challenge. Um, I love coming to the conference annually. It's a networking opportunity to see colleagues. And from that, you can pick up the phone, you've made contacts, you can just ring them and say, I've got this issue, I know that you've had this issue, tell us how you dealt with it. And it can come down to something as simple as um, ringing them for what was their strategy to deal with something, to getting complex design details from people, because that's what we do in this community. We all work together, we help each other out, and once you have that contact, it's easy just to ring someone.